Baker's Arms is a magical place. It looks like just an ordinary junction, but actually it's got some fantastic locations and some amazing things have happened here. I've been filming them and photographing them for 30 years, more than half my life, and I'm very attached to the place. When I moved here from Hertfordshire, where I was brought up as a kid, the atmosphere here was completely different. In Hertfordshire, I was hassled by the police all the time. Um, not because... Of... Ah! They are. They're after me again. Not because I was doing anything wrong, but simply because that's the way it was in Hertfordshire in those days. When I came here, I set up my camera and I started to video the Baker's Arms pub and the lovely um, ornaments that there are on the top of the pub. And um, a police officer came up to me and, and started talking to me. Naturally, I recoiled, but all he wanted to do was to find out about my camera. He was a video enthusiast himself. It was the first time I'd ever met a, a friendly police officer. So I was devastated. I was shocked when I was at the Baker's Arms just recently and um, I was hassled by a, a gent who was obviously uh, a council official. At the present time, you are committing an offence under the Highway Act 1980 of willful highway obstruction under section 137. would frequently move the, the, the camera. I'm not yep. obstructing you, you the did highway. Say that, I've also but... said I'm positioning myself in front of this bin to cause the minimum amount of obstruction possible. Let me just point something out to you. When you had the feet splayed out, Absolutely, right? Yeah. Yeah. You had them splayed out. Again, you're yeah. committing a further offence of what highway obstruction. That? You're obstructing people's free-flowing movement. Uh -huh. Who am I obstructing? People that might want to get past. Which, which person? It's not which or who. You are preventing people from going about their, their lawful business. Oh, well, I don't see how I'm preventing them more than you are preventing them. Well, you are committing a highway obstruction. That's the offence, right? Yeah. And there are certain offences that so you could. I can't. Be let me let me finish. Way. In Walden Forest, which is where the Baker's Arms is, the film strategy is managed on behalf of the council by an organisation called Real Film Locations. I spoke to a guy who uh, described himself as the borough film officer who was very helpful. He said, we don't require you to have permission to film on the street. That is not required. The street is an area that is in the public domain. There are no filming rights or screen rights associated with filming in the street from a council's point of view. The council doesn't own the street. The street is the public domain. You have the right to enter the street and undertake filming there in any capacity without requiring permission from us or the police. Let me, let me finish. You, you are committing certain offences, or could be committing certain offences, under different legislation about videoing people and number plates. What legislation is there about videoing people? I'm not prepared to go into that at the moment. I'm only here to deal with the highway obstruction. What, as I said to you, what I would suggest you do is check what you are permitted to do with videotapes because there are certain bits and pieces about, about the legislation that I'm unsure of. There are guidelines, but it isn't right to videotape people's number plates. But I have a shot for the local government officers. If they look around the Baker's Arms, Less than 200 metres from the junction, they'll find at least a dozen CCTV systems permanently recording all the registration numbers of all the vehicles that go through. Nobody stops them. Nobody says, you can't video here. I'd, I would have said, if you were here doing something legitimate, you would have been probably contacted, you would have probably contacted the police to ask for their permission and or the council so that they were aware that you were doing this. Mm -hmm. So you think I have to talk to the police then, in order to um, put up a video camera at the Baker's Arms? Yeah, I, I would have thought it would have been perfunctory to, to contact the police because they may have been getting reports about you, they could have turned up mob-handed and arrested you. It would be normal, under normal circumstances, for a private individual to say, I want to do some videoing at the Baker's Arms, is there anything that can stop me? 
am I allowed to do this? It, it would have been normal for that to, to happen. <coughs> it was a great shock to be told that videoing is no longer a lawful thing to do. It's, it's no longer something that is obviously permitted, but something which has to be licensed. It's the difference between a nanny state, a state where the government imagines that all sorts of activities have to be licensed and there is no real freedom. Let me finish. And a state where the presumption is that as long as something isn't actually illegal, you can do it.